Hey everyone, it's me, Raychu, back with another video. This one is a bit different from usual. I was thinking of video ideas for today, and I realized I haven't formally introduced you to my cats. So without further ado, say hello to my two adorable bundles of fur, Sophie and Tiger. Here's the story of how we got them. Our friends found this stray calico kitten on the side of the road, but they couldn't keep her. So they gave her to us. Her name was Snickers, and she was an inside and outside cat, so one day we noticed her acting differently. A few months later, we had kittens, a whopping six of them. And because of this, we nicknamed her Mommy Cat, and we called her that for the rest of her life. Anyway, she had six beautiful kittens on February 17th, 2010. We couldn't keep them all, so Mom and I each picked out the ones we wanted to keep, Tiger and Sophie. These guys have been the greatest. Sophie does this super cute thing where she climbs up on me to get more pets. Tiger is a big ol' sweetie, and he's very, very thick. He likes to lay on his back and all his belly flab spills over on either side of him. It's so cute. Anywho, onto the drawing bit of the video. You didn't really think I wouldn't draw something, did you? <laughs> I've always wanted to make portraits of my kittens, but their coat patterns are super complicated and I've always gave up pretty quickly. But this time I thought I would just focus on their heads. I also tried to convey their personalities into their portraits. Tiger is more outgoing and has a more aggressive personality. Sophie can be very timid around strangers, but once she gets to know you, she loves to get pets and sleep on the couch with you. Despite being kind of nervous when it came to coloring the fur patterns, I actually had a blast with Sophie's design. It was so far outside of what I was comfortable with, and it challenged me to really look closely at her features. One super cool thing about her is that her colors are split down the middle of her body. You can see it especially in her nose. There's a very defined line separating gray and red, but you can also see it on her legs. One is red and the other is gray and black. I think it's super cool. As per the usual, I didn't really know what to do for the background, so I kept it simple with a three-tone green pattern to match their eyes. And that's the finished drawing. I really hope you liked this video and enjoyed hearing about my cats. They're the best, and I'm very blessed to have them. That's all from me, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!